Welcome to Marine Tech Hub. Today I'll be explaining you about the fuel wall changeover indication which comes to the engine control room. Uh, we change over the main engine generator boiler to LSMGO whenever we enter the Sikka area. So while changing over uh, this is a, in this picture you can see this is the wall uh, for the generator so this is a changing over indicator here so what happens is uh, the signal that goes to the diaphragm and pushes the wall down you can see the spring here this will move down once it moves down then there is a micro switch here this micro switch will get activated so when we changed over from heavy oil to LSMGO we didn't get an indication whether the wall changed over actually or not so indication was not coming on the engine control room it is very important for engineers to make sure that the wall actually opens and you can see here this is moved down so you have to see actually the wall is opening or not so in this case the gas oil should go once it comes down and when it is up the heavy oil will go so this, that is, this is the wall for the changeover so what happened was the indicator the wall has moved you can see here the spring is pressed the wall has moved but the indication was not coming on the engine control room so this, this is a micro switch here I am trying to activate and see whether the indication is coming or not mostly what happens is this micro switch may get damaged so you need to change this to make sure that the walls have changed in the actual scenario otherwise what will happen is there will always be a uh, blackout if you are not able to do it you can see I am trying to press that and show you this is how the micro switch will work when you are moving it so this switch will act and you will get a light so always make sure the walls are open indications are coming physically check and run the generator maybe whenever you are going to the Sikka area we have three generators so my preference will be run one of the generator on the MDO flushing pump take it on load so you are sure that now one generator is on load and another generator you keep on heavy oil so that this is on the flushing pump then generator number 2 and 3 you can change over by the normal change over from heavy oil to LSMGO so in case something happens there also then you will not go blackout so safety reasons uh, you run one generator on MDO flushing pump and uh, uh, second generator on heavy oil so both generators are running on parallel so any problem with the load or something you will be having one generator with you so then change generator number 2 and 3 to LSMGO in the normal process so changing over should take place carefully bring down the temperature slowly uh, bring down 2 degrees every 1 minute so that you don't have any thermal stress on the generator so if you have any doubt 